<laughs> nice. Oh, that came out sick. Hey everyone, happy new year and I'm glad to be back. Today I want to get into some stable diffusion. More specifically, I want to generate some images and then add some life to it in After Effects. So I'm going to get one image, add some kind of motion or some kind of effect to it so that it can look alive. So yeah, let's get into it. I don't know what I'm going to make, but we'll find out in a bit. So we are in Stable Diffusion now and we are going to see what we can come up with. My forte is definitely not text to image, but it's image to image because uh, that's what I've been working on mostly, but uh, today we're gonna try to create something with text to image. So hopefully uh, I can do something good. So today I'll be using a mid journey checkpoint. There should be a link in the description for you to download if you're interested in downloading the style. Initially, I was thinking of doing something with like Spider-Man or the Spider-Verse. And then I started to look into like Street Fighter, and uh, obviously, as you can see, I was getting some very horrible results. At some point, I just decided, you know what, let me do something with Mario. But I want it to be like a gritty looking Mario where he looks like some broken down robot or something. Started with some prompts like a realistic Mario as a cyborg. And I added a bunch of details after that, like rusty parts and... Uh, dynamic lighting, cinematic, and obviously uh, mid-journey style. Well, okay, not exactly what I had in mind, but uh, oh, sick. Oh, this looks so sick. Uh, I like this. This is, yeah, this is more in the direction I, I wanted to go. Mess around with the size as well. Oh, uh, no, now we're going in a whole different direction. I have to also lock in a seed. Ah, uh, this is like too cartoony. So I definitely want to remove just kind of that cartoon look. Let's see if this helps at all. Okay, it did take away some of the cartoony look from it. Let me bring up the CFG scale a little bit. Mm, let me add derelict surrounding. Look, <laughs> it's like. What the heck? It's like Mario peeking at other Marios. <laughs> oh man. Let's see, uh, let me bring up the steps slightly. And let me actually add an artist. Let me try by Alfonso Mucha. I'm not sure how you pronounce that person's name. Oh shoot. That looks sick. Oh, okay. Now, now he looks like a robot. He has still the human face, but I like it. It looks uh, pretty realistic. There's some human aspects right here. I'm gonna go with this one. I, I like it. I wanna get a little bit more of the surroundings here. So I'm gonna bring the image into image to image. And then down here, I'm gonna go to poor man's out painting. And so I'm gonna actually uh, have the pixels expand, expand outside of this so that it can create some more stuff here in the background. I can still have a little bit of the background separated from Mario and also, you know, get a little bit of his hat here generated also. I don't know if I'm supposed to have the exact same settings here as on here when I generate it. Let me just, uh, send this to end painting. Okay. Yeah, that did it for me. Put all the information there for me. So now I'm just going to generate this and I believe that it's going to fill in some of the outside here. Nice. Look at this. So it added all these extra elements outside of what was already there. I just got to mess a little bit with mess around with the settings a little bit because I don't like how there's like a person here. Who the hell is that? So this is the results I got. Hopefully I can create something very cool with this and add some life to it. Let's try it out. Let's put it into uh, Photoshop and then into After Effects and then try messing around with it there. So the thing I got to do now is do some separation, separate to basically Mario from the background and then separate the head from the body. So here in Photoshop, once I have my image in here, I was using the object selection tool and the quick selection tool to try to separate Mario from the background so I can later put into After Effects and separate Mario in parts like the bottom of his jaw from his head and his head from the rest of his body. I'm gonna try to use imp painting here to try to see if I can actually remove Mario. Damn, look at that. I painted in where Mario was and it 
and it filled it in and it looks so cool. It blended it so well. Sorry, I'm like, I, I never really mess with this kind of stuff as much um, because I, like I said, I typically do just image to image and I never really mess with in painting because uh, don't really need it for like video as much. So technically, technically I can even get Mario and also, also add things to Mario, right? But uh, yeah, let me just, uh, let me export this and then just kind of mess around with it a little more. So originally I tried to fill in the background by going into fill, uh, content aware. And it does, I mean, I blended it well, right? But, but within painting, look at, you add a lot of cool elements there. And then you still got Mario here. This is pretty much my video right here. Look at it. It's a me, Mario. <laughs> no, uh, I want to add like a little bit more than obviously than just like, just like a keyframe from left to right. I want to actually see if I can get his mouth. Like I want to have his mouth move and say something and then make it look a little bit more alive than just simply like, you know, I don't know how successful I'll be at it. I, I just gotta be pretty straightforward, but I'm gonna try. That is the mission. So we're gonna separate Mario from, from the body. And I think after this, I'm just gonna add some like glowing effects to all these things right here. And then I'll do that in After Effects. So let's actually throw this into After Effects. Let's see what we can do. So let's bring this Photoshop session into uh, Photoshop sequence. And so this should be layered now. All right, so now we have everything layered. I'm gonna create a null so I can put all these layers. So I want all these to be controlled by one null. I want to make all these uh, freeze frames so that I can stretch them out as far as I need them to be. All right. So now when I move the null, the whole body moves with it. But I want him to seem like he's like a like this imposing giant. I want these lights to kind of glow like a real living city. An adjustment layer, add a little bit of a glow. For this part, I keyframe the intensity of the glow to give it like this pulsing effect. I also want to add a little bit of this fog or like smoke so that it gives it kind of like that polluted, like the factories polluting the city kind of feel and just give it a little bit more to that grittiness and also add some movement because the fog is gonna be moving in the background and uh, that gives it a little bit more life to the image as you can see right here. Then I parented all the layers that were part of Mario to a null and then keyframe positions on the null to make the motion of him coming into the frame. And then I also added a little bounce to each time he took a step, you know, the momentum of each step, I wanted that to be felt. So I had that little bounce to it. And then I also added a little bit of a shake to the bottom of his jaw, to give it a feeling of like loose and broken mechanical parts of his face. And for the mouth movement, I wanted to make sure that I move the anchor point in a place where when I keyframe the rotation, it's gonna open up like this and not from the center. So I changed a little bit of the prompt because I wanted to impaint his eyes so that they weren't human. I wanted to make it look a little bit more robotic and this is the results I got. Oh yeah, now we're talking. I love this eye kind of just popping out like that. I would love it that as soon as he stops the eye comes up somehow. Maybe that's possible. I like it. I like it. So I went ahead and added this part of the eyes to the Mario that I already had. So I, and I duplicated it and then I did, did another mask just for this part because I wanted this part to also shake when Mario takes a step. Since this came out as if it's like falling out, I wanted it to be loose so that uh, that little shake whenever it he takes a step because it should be loose. And there should be another shake right here. At this point, I use the puppet tool and I made a bunch of points to have the eye move up almost as if it were in 3D. <laughs> 
Uh, I don't know if that worked. And here I looked for another layer that had a bunch of mechanical parts and just masked it under the eyes so you don't see the duplicate layer that's under it. All right, all right. So you know what I think this, you know what I think I need to do? I want this to look more like a Mario world. So, cause this just like, looks like some generic uh, mid journey kind of thing. So I wonder if I start to draw like, like mushroom shapes here, maybe, maybe uh, some mushrooms will start appearing and make it kind of like this dystopian mushroom kingdom, right? Wow, dude, look at this. <laughs> yeah, the mushrooms, that's so cool. Oh man, that's so cool. I think I, maybe I should have added a little bit more mushrooms. I think that's fine. So in the animation, I want Mario's head to explode. So I came back into imp painting and I want to paint in some of Mario's face and hopefully add some destruction to the face by changing the prompt a little bit and adding like exposed wires and decap cyborg. Um, and hopefully I can get some good results by just in painting some of the face and hopefully adding some destruction to this. And this is the results I got. And I gotta say, I'm very happy with how this turned out. It came out so sick. I was so happy. And then explosion. And then I'm gonna add like a camera shake right there. So this came out sick. Here I added a bunch of exploding effects. It also helps hide the transition between the non-destroyed Mario and the busted up Mario. All right, so I wanna make this. It's me, Mario. I wanna make this sound robotic, and also want it to sound crazy. Mm, let's mess with the pitch. So let's bring this down. It's me, Mario. It's me, Mario. Ooh, that sounds scary. I like it. It's me, Mario. What kind of effects does? Langer, Langer. Let me see what that does. Robotic, yeah. It's me, Mario. There you go. Now we're talking. It's me, Mario. It's me. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I like the audio. I like the voice. Um, I wonder if I should add like an old radio kind of effect, almost as if he has a speaker on his body somewhere. Let me see if I can uh, add something like that. EQ. And then there's old time radio. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> it definitely gives it a lot of more of a creepy vibe. So cool, man. Um, <laughs> nice oh that came out sick i honestly wasn't expecting it to come out so cool um i was kind of worried at first i'm like ah it's gonna be lame but i was able to add a lot of really cool details to this and I'm, I'm like super happy with the way this turned out um if you guys want me to make more videos like this definitely let me know i was doubting myself this entire time but as i was messing around with it more and really messing around with imp painting because i had never used imp painting as much as i did today definitely recommend it definitely uh use imp painting whenever you can hopefully you guys enjoyed this i appreciate everyone who supports me through liking subscribing and commenting we finally hit 10,000 subscribers i never would have guessed that i would make that many so fast but I am so grateful for everyone who subscribes and especially everybody who joined my Patreon. I'm super grateful for that. That helps me out greatly because then I could dedicate way more time to this and I want to dedicate more time to this because I love it, man. I love it. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Like always, take care. God bless. And...